Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a big, long, white brass hybrid locomotive from Broadway Limited. It is the BLI SPNS E1. This is a 484 locomotive. This is number 700, modern excursion version. Basically, this runs up in the northwest and is in the same facility as Southern Pacific number 4449, which is a pretty well-known steam locomotive. So let's see what you get in the box in this Paragon 4 brass hybrid locomotive from Broadway Limited, starting now. Unboxing is pretty simple with these. You slide the case off. And I have this upside down because I always lose 50-50 competitions here. And you pull the locomotive out. Also, you may see that a little piece popped out that's the funnel for the smoke. And then they've got a little trap door here. That's what I call it anyway. And inside that is all of your paperwork. So with this specifically in paperwork, we're looking at quite a few things. A warranty card, and you can always pause your screen if you want to read over any of that. A function list, all the way up to 28 functions. They're always packed out with functions on Broadway Limited. Exploded parts diagram for the tender. And on the other side, the locomotive. That way, if you ever have a part, you just tell them what number, and they can usually help you with parts. The manual's updated too. They're now white and over 31, over 30 pages, 31 pages total of information in this manual. Further unboxing the locomotive is sliding the plastic sleeve out. Two plastic pieces here will kind of fall down to their sides. You've got traction tires and an installation tool here and a couple wind deflectors it appears in the box as well. Locomotive is protected by soft plastic. We'll go ahead and get this set down to take a look. Alright, let's take a look at the locomotive's detail including the LED headlight, there's a smoke box door with latch detail here along the side, a handrail going up and along the side as well as a walkway with tread plating, smokestack with whistle and plumbing all along this smoke box here. SPNS is there with the sand bo do dome and boiler dome I should say. And more plumbing and handrails. Pop off valves back here. There's a dynamo. And just a lot of detail on the top as we go that way. You also have four roof latches which are fixed in position. Just had to verify that. Sunshade for the cab window, SPNS 700. There are cab figures installed. There's a lot of plumbing. There's the blow down plumbing. And you got the firebox with rivet detail there. So we work our way back towards you get the trailing trucks and the drivers with white walls. Pistons, eccentric crank, side rods. Just a lot of detail there as well. Coupler up front mounted, coupler cut bar. Builder's plate, which if I can zoom even further in you can see. So there's a quick rundown of just some of the detail of just the locomotive. Let's take a quick look at the tender. As you can see the curtain detail on the cab and you can see the cab figures as well really close coupling to the tender here which makes a realistic appearance for this locomotive there's a water 
or a hatch there. There's water fill hatches and a toolbox back here. And a crew access ladder on the rear. Speaking of the rear, there's another look there with the crew access, crew access ladders on each side and rare, a rear LED headlight, not rare. You can also see that Spokane, Portland, and Seattle logo, the SPNS logo on the side. Nice print. Looks really well done. Showing you some details on this side of the locomotive. More of the same, but there are some differences. Specifically, this plating here. And just some uh, variations. You've got the throttle lever and things like that. You can see a little better on this side. Just a beautifully detailed locomotive, though. Oil dipstick there on the front of the tender. Sitting there at the top. I've lost my pointer, but... Oh, there it is. There's the oil dipstick, so... Just uh, details like that you could probably look and see and find all day. Let's go ahead and fire this up by hitting F9. stepping through the ballast onto the locomotive. You hear all the valves start turning on and the dynamo eventually come on and you see the puffing smoke. What you may hear is some bass and that's because I have my Paragon 3 slash Paragon 4 Rolling Thunder hooked back up which is a subwoofer that if we look onto the ground you can see peeking out right there. That is like my favorite accessory of all time. Turn the headlight on, you hear the dynamo spool up. Nice bright white headlight. Let's listen to some sounds now. There's the bell. So those are the first couple of sounds that are standard with that. Rolling Thunder really helps out with those. F3's air pump. I'm sorry, F3 is actually coupler slack, so you get that by going like that. F4's air pump. F5 is blow down when stopped. There's just so many different sounds on here. We've covered them all before in the previous review. This is a product demo because we've reviewed this locomotive in its previous version. So let's just go ahead and move it at one speed step here. See the puffing smoke. crossing is under being worked right now and I think uh, it's not quite ready to go so I've got to put these pieces down and glue them down but as you can see we'll go one speed step in reverse here Puffing the smoke, very smooth speed control. There's your 
right headlight you can see a little better one speed step forward puffing smoke slow speed control very very good uh, speed control on that a little quick out of the gate and you can change that with CVs if you like to but I don't mind as long as it's somewhat smooth all right, we'll move at one speed step to see slow speed control and scale miles an hour. So 4.5 miles an hour and speed step one. Getting it up to full speed to see the max speed on this. like 152 scale miles per hour. As you can see down the line, it has rear marker lights on the tender. And there's your tender tail light as well. All right, we're gonna do a pull test here. Just gonna start moving the locomotive. Capped out at about four and a half ounces, which is over 70 freight cars. So Broadway Limited has some really good pulling power, and this is kind of going along with that. It's staying up there. Pull a prototypical link consist for sure, and if you're doing a passenger consist on this, that's going to be easy to pull. Well, that's going to wrap up this product demo on the Broadway Limited SPNS number 700. This is a 484 locomotive, brass hybrid. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will leave you with a little bit of run-by action now that I have my layout established. It's not scenery pretty much anywhere, but we'll be able to at least run the train, so let's do that. And we'll see you next time right here on the channel. By the way, Highly recommend this locomotive. It is uh, fantastic, especially if you can find good discounts at your brick and mortar hobby shops or online retailers. All right, see you next time. Take care.